start with taking us a little bit back and um, let us ask us as manufacturers what are our challenges? What are challenges every day that we wake up to? What do we want to improve? I mean, if I'm manufacturing, I'm getting up every morning and saying, how can I produce less, or how I produce more for less cost and maybe more individualized? How do I avoid shutdowns or unpredicted shutdowns? How do I do all this? with less waste and less energy consumption. These are the challenges that we have. The answers are lying in your data, in your manufacturing data. Very often this data does exist in some historian, but it's scattered, scattered around your plant, not accessible, not easy accessible. The answer to that, cloud platform. Siemens cloud platform is called MindSphere. It connects all kinds of industrial applications from wind turbines to manufacturing sites, everything into one platform, making the data easy to access for you. So connectivity is one of the key points. The other point is tools that it provides to do your analysis, easy analysis. The data is in a format that allows you to configure the outcomes rather than being a programming wizard. The platform itself could be public, could be private, or could be on-premises if you want to. So all that sounds like maybe many online platform providers. Why is MindSphere so different? Why is MindSphere the right solution for you? Well, first decision that we made at Siemens is, well, we will not develop our own infrastructure. We will rely on the best in the market. We will not compete with them. We will take their technology and take it to our advantage. So we teamed up with Amazon Web Services, and in the future also with Microsoft Azure. They provide the infrastructure for us. Our focus is on the connectivity and on the analysis. When I said connectivity easy, well, of course, if you have a Siemens automation, it's plug and play. If you have third party, we have connector boxes, which you can actually, and probably you can see it in the lab, configure in around 15 minutes to get all your data into the platform. If you're a manufacturer, of edge devices, there are software libraries available which you just, just simply include and you will have the, med, you have the capability to get your data into MindSphere too. And for the analysis part, MindSphere provides basic tools that every individual can use. You will see once again, I think in the lab, um, the apprentices have done a great job of just configuring data, giving you trend analysis, giving you information about asset health. Or, if you want deeper analysis, there are platforms and tools available for app designers that can get every information out of the data that is available that you require to improve your plant. A platform concept is nothing without partners. And our strong emphasis is to build a strong ecosystem around MindSphere. Because we also know as Siemens, we won't have all the solutions for all the problems that exist in different industries. We want to tap on the knowledge that is available in the market globally. So I'm also proud to say that we will sign up today eight local partners in Australia as our first foundation partners for MindSphere. And you see just a glimpse of the 125 plus growing every day that we have signed up globally. All those partners have access to global customers. All our customers have access to those global partners. So we can really utilize all the knowledge that does exist. Just give me a little example of what I say, how to turn um, data into value. Or, very blunt, how do you make money out of MindSphere? So on the bottom you see um, a typical plant, you are an end user, you know, you have connected uh, MindSphere um, or you have connected your plant to MindSphere and data is continuously put into the, the cloud. Um, either you or a partner or an OEM have written an application that is collecting the data and in this case, let's say it's a motor 
It's, it's, it's monitoring the heat development of the motor. And at a certain point, it suddenly de it detects, oh, it has left the optimum curve. There is something that could happen. So um, I'll send an information to either the manufacturer of the motor or to the control center or to both. The advantage out of this is once again, you as a plant owner, utilize the competence of your individual equipment providers. You don't need to know everything. You can rely on the expertise of the guys that are producing or that have supplied the equipment to your plant. So once those get the alarm, they can go to their computer, download the information and do the analysis. If required, they can inform the control station, hey, everything under control, nothing critical. Or they can even provide information to the corporate office and say, hey, um, there is something that we need to pay attention to. And of course, um, what they will do, they go to the embedded engineer and say, hey, these are the steps that you have to do to prevent any disruptive um, shutdown. So that gives you a picture of what the power of MindSphere is. And if you look at this, is once again, you don't have to know everything, you have experts, they could sit around the world. They don't even need to sit in Australia. Do the analysis quickly, give you the information what needs to be done to prevent the shutdown. For the application providers, um, you can program apps that you can use not only for this one plant, you can use for many applications for many plants. It is like in an app store. You can put your application there and have all kind of interested customers buying your application. For the plant owner, again, and I just um, was with a customer last week, a mining customer, and saying, well, you know, we actually think about designing our own platform. And I said, oh, wait a second. Um, I think you spend your energy and your capital on the wrong thing. You are an expert in mining. So spend your money on improving your mining process. Don't try to replicate something others are very strong in. Their fear was actually that they lose or that somebody gets access to their intellectual property. So many of you that are running a plant are afraid of losing intellectual property if they share information. That's once again not the case with MindSphere. Look at this case. Only a portion of the information is allowed to be seen by an OEM partner not the whole information. You decide who gets what kind of information. And think of the opportunity that you might have when you say, hey, I see a pattern, I always get a failure, but I don't know what it is. You can take that amount of data and actually crowdsource for a solution. You can put this public and say, hey, whoever, whoever gives me a good solution for this, I pay him some money. These are the opportunities that you have within, with a platform system at the cloud system. If you want to learn more about MindSphere, um, more than just what you see today, um, there's an online site, actually very easy, mindsphere.io, um, where you can get all kinds of information. You can even sign up there um, for a trial um, and see what MindSphere is capable of doing for you. So let me get back to my initial question when I said, well, um, what are the driving forces that keep us up every day? And how do we now say, how should you approach it? And we designed a three-phase approach, or we recommend a three-phase approach. Phase number one is you sign up to MindSphere and you start with individual assets in your plant. So you do the analysis, you do condition monitoring, from condition monitoring you go to predictive maintenance, that's the first step. The second step is actually you're combining more of your application into, into one and you try to optimize. To do this, and we as Siemens talk a lot about the digital twin, have a copy of your actual application in the digital world. You feedback, once you have a digital twin, you usually also define what should be the outcome. MindSphere, the online platform, will now allow you to actually feedback actual production information and allows you to optimize allows you to predict aging of your equipment. It allows you really to predict what, what's going to happen in the next couple of days or months. And the last step, of course, is machine learning and artificial intelligence. 
which would always then provide the best possible outcome for what equipment is available for you. Okay. I think I tried to give you a quick overview of what MindSphere is and what the capability of MindSphere is. Um, you get a much bigger, better picture when you see the lab. Um, and as Keith said, what actually is really happening and what has been already provided. Thank you very much. Thank you.